That's what Jack Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but that's the win last mechanism. So again, if you do orthotics, that's where you clip out that first rate. So my orthotics, uh, they cost us like 80 bucks. Okay. 85 bucks, something like that. The company called Comfort Fit, they're uh, right inside of New Jersey. They're in New Jersey. So you mold them. You do mold. We do the mold and we send them off. We have them in the back. The styrofoam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do a semi weight bearing cast. I've done them all. I used to do full casting. Uh, then we did semi um, non weight bearing. I've done them all and I, I can't tell the difference between any of them. So we just do a semi weight bearing cast now. Okay, so once again, um, so talus mobility again, because I did not get any motion in this talus. Not much anyway. Okay, so again, here's that talar mobility. Again, calcaneus is in your hand, have the foot go right up the forearm, and I'm just going to be in the joint line, okay, and I'm scooping kind of this way. And this again, it's just more of a joint mold. And this is something I probably do 20, 30 times. Okay. You're right. Just after that. Yeah. Time. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes. I'll check it. I'll check it. Sometimes you get a little more, but sometimes you know you're not going to get a cavitation out of everything. Am I still having a positive effect on the mechanoreceptors and the GTOs? Absolutely. Right. Okay. Try it again. But like I said, he so his, his ATFL. Like I said, I keep going back to this, but I want you guys to see it. See that? Right. Tender at all? No. Okay, so ATFL would be right here. Now that is. Okay. So it's right in bed. Okay, so again, I still not getting really much out of that. Okay, so again, calcaneus here, here, talus. Why don't you lay in your stomach for me, if you don't mind? So talus, I'm sure you guys have seen as well here. Here's another cuboid move you can do this way as well, but talus, okay, same thing here as well. Cup your hands. You know, try to be light on the patient's thigh. Take out the slack and straight up. Yep. Okay. Straight up this way. Okay. So while he's prone, um, you can certainly adjust cuboid this way. Okay. But um, lastly, tarsals, metatarsal heads, drop metatarsal heads. Okay. A um, couple different ways to do these. Okay. You can get on the particular metatarsal head, either side, okay? Grip it as best you can, be as specific as you can, and just say that you've got a drop second metatarsal, okay? I'm gonna get on it, it's usually tender, okay? I'm gonna distract as best I can, and then you set it here, this way. So I'm gonna pull, open the joint, set this way, okay? This way. Now, if I can't get a movement there, this is actually where I use my arthrostim as well. I'll do the exact same setup, I grab my little machine, okay, same thing, while I'm distracting it, okay? Matter of fact, I had a guy in just two weeks ago with, with some neuropathy pain from ski boots being on too tight. We did that one visit, he's like, it is gone, it's crazy, but it's exactly the move I did on him. He had a drop metatarsal, thought maybe he had a, an interdigital neuroma, you know, neuromas, two, between second and third metatarsal. He didn't have a positive squeeze test, and. But, you know, tight-fitting boots would bother him. And I'm like, you know, you have some type of neuralgia there. So anyway, we palpated and found a, a drop second metatarsal, but I couldn't get it to cavitate. So like I said, just use the arthrostim. It worked great. One visit, he was better. Okay? So again, talus here. Okay? Um, you know, um, inferior dropped um, metatarsal heads there. So face up for me, please. There's some fun socks you got on there. Just what's best. Everyone needs fun socks. <laughs> And last but not least, um, hallux valgus. This is the last one I got for you. So most of the time, it's it's turned in like this, and you got someone with a bunion type of um, deformation, right? Depending how bad it's got to be easy on these and careful. But there's a couple different ways to adjust the first ray. You can sneak in, okay, like this, okay, and set it this way, just a straight axial traction, okay. Is it easy? There's more going on in this foot, but um, but. Or, okay, if you're gonna try to take out a little bit of that, um, that rotation, so you distract, turn, I'm trying to think of the, I guess turn medially, and set the joint that way, okay? And you gotta go easy, okay? These are sensitive, but patients love this who've got bunions. If it's not too sensitive, just distract and joint mope, okay? You right? Yeah. Yeah, moderate though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you gotta go easy on these, okay? Same thing here again. Distract, turn, set. Okay, 
and then just toes are, you know, distracted and things are easy. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Yeah. Feet adjusted. Yeah.